saying the following let's play may or might contain crap, violence, words, and or jokes unsuitable for minors and or weak souls. So viewer discretion is advised. And you can tell the regular chickens from the ones with shots on them from the black glowy stuff around them. Well, swirly. Flank, flank. Time to meet something more evil. That can just be grabbed right away. These are the basic demon enemies that, well, yeah, these all the color Because I could slice for them for lunch. And we're going to meet the first, uh, I guess I'll call it a sub boss right up here. He's right there. Well, he, is, he becomes a regular kind of enemy later on. Do you know what's imprisoned here? There are things even you should fear, horseman. Once you were strong, but now you are weak and you are alone. The destroyer knows of your coming. Even now, he moves his legions against you. Then I'll make this quick. Big sword to face. The blue fiber. Can you show him exactly how quote unquote weak we are at present time? But yeah, he hurts. Wow, I clipped through that like. You pretty much need to dodge his every attack, otherwise, you're getting screwed. Yeah, he's a coward in some of his friends. Plus, but he's good at flying! Well, using the correct hands of that. I like how he just stands over there waiting for us to, us to slaughter his man. Well, he's kind of a bitch. Excuse me, jerk. Too. You can actually just go hit him. Yeah, I could. I'm not sure that he will. Actually, I'll take this guy with me. <laughs> with you, then you'll we'll just take him. I'm not even sure that this thing deals damage when he drops like that. It doesn't, but splash kind of attack when you hit the ground. But he doesn't keep blood on the brain. Oops. He does do his attack things. Wow. Yeah, when you dodge too early, you can't just swap. Rip your ass. Yeah, pop it. Before I have asked you a few questions. And limbs? Yeah. Ooh, blood. Blood everywhere! This is kind of weird. Over here! It's like big gargoyle statues and shiny stuff inside. And how can we move these? I don't know. They look like the stone set on stone, and then we move them, and blood goes out of them. How does that work? Plummeting? Bad plummeting? It's red. <laughs> uh, I think it's a purpose. It's more lag spike here. Yeah, just a bit. I don't even know if this will be seeable, because it is a 30 frames recording. Yeah, we're watching in 60, so... Time to meet a new guy. Not that I've called him particularly new. First time they see him. Are you here to play execution? They should have set all four. I have no interest in killing you, Samael. Ah, the destroyer. 
this prison made you a coward? That seems hard. The war doesn't give a damn. Exactly. There is a way, but you will need to get inside the destroyer's spire. The tower is guarded by four of his chosen. Bring me their hearts and ask me no questions. My reasons for no being are my own. Where can I find these guardians? First, Everywhere. seek the Twilight Cathedral, where the Bat Queen Tiamat has gone to roost. The whole of her domain is a blistering inferno. By land, you will never reach it. Find the high ground with this. First ability. And bring me her still beating heart. Now that we're heading here anyway, maybe we should go find that thing in a thing. Well, we could go fast traveling later. Well, you are not going to get fast traveling right now. But yeah, but it's going to be handy when we get it. To have it. You could always go pick it up. But if anyone noticed about um, Samael, who is, by the way, the third of my favorite characters, partially uh, because of his voice actor, because they're just bloody awesome in the game. His wings are upside down. So that means he flies upside down when he flies? Uh, he doesn't really fly as much as teleport when he does that. But yeah, that's Samael. He's, he's interesting. And maybe we'll see some more, more of him after we've given him... him maybe, maybe we'll see some more of him after we've given him given him the four hearts of the children while you play with a car and a horn. Oh yeah, this thing. That's what you were talking about, the um, Mulgrim point. Yeah. Wow, that's one strong little demon thing. It just pushed this friend all the way back. Say splat. Oh, too late. So and nobody gone. I mean disembowelment. Not quite, because that would be sticking sword in his belly and slicing it, but yeah. Well he I practically did slice his stomach open. I think he hit like the crotch area. Ah. Hip area. There's a chest, it's blue, it's funny. It's all stuff. Swap, swap. Ooh, that reminds me there's a thingy you can get here, which is actually kind of... What thingy? Strange-ish, hard -ish to get. Oh, if you look to the left now, oh, you could see that. Those um, hanging things, they're yeah, a sign yeah. that there's I a, know, I know. I'm just explaining the Volgrim location stuff. If you look to the right here, that, look down, to the left. There's a platform down there you can reach if you use the flying thing. Okay. No, not that way. That thing is to bring you back up. It was oh. underneath the platform. Smile. I just died in the lava. <laughs> if you go back there and down there to the left of the Point, point. On yeah, the well, it, you can see the spiky thing Yeah. to the right. On the platform over at somewhere else, like down. You know, really, reach out your hand and point down there. There, that spiky thing. Yeah, if you do that, you can't actually reach it. So I have to jump in the underhead. You have to jump and then use the wings when you fall on a bird. Otherwise, you can't actually glide in there. Yeah, you, okay. you, you have to double jump and immediately immediately use the wings, otherwise they won't work. Because they're strange like that. What would you ask of this? And you should get it now. No problems. Follow the path! Up, up. Ooh! Ooh, awesome chest! Oh, these! These are pretty fun. They actually give you a 
fairly ridiculous piece of armor. Well, armor set as such. Which looks pretty badass, but it entirely breaks the game. So you become entirely OP when you have that armor? Kind of, but not entirely. You basically take like half damage or something ridiculous. Yeah, like Legend of Zelda's uh, hearts, they... Mailbox! Yeah, except in this game it actually matters a lot more. Yeah. Oops. Whoops. And the blue thing is, uh, as we saw, basically just a boost to your flight. Plonk. They also refresh the time you have to actually fly. So. I had a lag spike there. <laughs> Fun times against a big monster that can do a couple of times and kill you. It actually feels like there is a form of difficulty now. You actually have to do some sort of effort to not yeah, get hit. Yeah, compared to normal. Normal is kind of like just run through things. It well, it starts to become them. difficult at the end. Yeah, when you get past the chosen, it kind of like, now you kind of have to not get hit. But until then you can pretty much for the most part tank everything, just kill things. Clonk head, goodbye. Ooh, that's baby hard. hard. And the yellow thing on the minimap is basically the quest pointer. Yeah. Which it's your GPS who's not a GPS. Which reminds me, on your right side here in the lava there's some platform. Okay, should I get it? You should, sure it's pretty decent good. Die already! Uh, you just shoved it in the lava. So to the right? Yeah. Platform. Platform. No. <laughs> nom noms. This game with all unlocks and such, it took me like 22 hours. But well, on my, my first playthrough have so far taken, I believe, 11 hours or so. Yeah, but you have an old collectible shield either. True. All fully upgraded every weapon, which, like, takes fucking forever. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna do that in this Let's Play, though. No, no. Because it's and if gonna we, be an utter complete waste of time. Yeah. If we were, we would just like cut to the point where they were upgraded. <laughs> just like, see, we've done it. And there was a big orange thing on the wall there. And yeah, remember those kids. I mean, might be important later, who knows. When you say it like that, they're going to be like, oh no, it's going to be important. Who knows? I don't know. Why did I hit the roof? Well, that's how this works. It's kind of strange, that bit. Well, the floor's on fire, not the roof. Well, both are on fire and even land. Who cares? True. Uh, yeah. The choking <laughs> grounds. Choking? Yeah, the choking ground. It's, it's strange. But we have a fun point up here. It's like, there's a big building, there's a thingy in spider back. Else we'd run down there and be like, huh? Yeah, and then we, we'd be oh. stuck. <laughs> what do we have to do here to get the gate down? Oh, wait a minute. All right. I personally am not the, um, that type of puzzle solver. You don't like the backtracking? No. I mean, you don't like to backtrack? No, not really. 